Hello. This video will cover the necessary steps required to upgrade your existing CN Maestro on premises system to version 3.2.0 or deploy a new CN Maestro on premises 3.2.0 system. CN Maestro on premises version 3.2.0 is available for CN Maestro Essentials and CN Maestro X. The system is delivered as an OVA that will run in a VMware virtual environment or as an AMI, which can be deployed in AWS. This video details the steps necessary to create a Cloud Anchor account, attach your CN Maestro 3.2.0 on-premises system to that Anchor account, and manage device subscriptions necessary for CN Maestro X. Please note, for your convenience, I have included a list of the steps necessary to deploy CN Maestro on-premises version 3.2.0 and then upgrade that system to CN Maestro X. I have also included the times they appear in the video, which can be referenced at a later date. All new CN Maestro Essentials and CN Maestro X on-premises 3.1.0 and later deployments must attach to a Cloud Anchor account during installation. All previously existing CN Maestro on-premises instance must attach to an Anchor account before upgrading to CN Maestro 3.2.0. You will not be able to install a new instance of CN Maestro on-premises or perform an upgrade of your existing instance of CN Maestro on-premises to CN Maestro 3.2.0 without connecting to an Anchor account. A CN Maestro Cloud Anchor account exists in the cloud alongside CN Maestro Cloud NMS accounts. It is attached to CN Maestro on-premises installations using a Cambium ID and an onboarding key, which are both created when the Anchor account is created. The Cloud Anchor account serves multiple purposes. It manages subscriptions for both CN Maestro Essentials and CN Maestro X. It automatically pushes announcements of new device firmware and CN Maestro software images. And it simplifies CBRS provisioning and billing by aggregating multiple CN Maestro on premises instances. CN Maestro on premises reports details and statistics to the Anchor account, such as system uptime and processor usage, and device counts and types, software versions, and user types and counts. Note that Anchor accounts can have multiple instances running any combination of CN Maestro X and or CN Maestro Essentials. This next section will go through the process of creating a Cambium Cloud Anchor account. Here are a couple of points to take note of. The CN Maestro Anchor account should be created before deploying new CN Maestro on-premises instance or upgrading an existing CN Maestro on-premises instance. Also, during the creation of the Anchor account, Make note of the Cambium ID and the onboarding key. You will need these when attaching the Anchor account to your CN Maestro on-premises instance. To create the CN Maestro Anchor account, open a web browser and go to https colon slash slash cloud.cambiumnetworks.com. Then click the register button. On the create an account page, Enter your email address and click Register. A system-generated email will be sent to the email address you used to create the Anchor account. Open the automated email and click the provided link to complete the registration. Now complete the Finish Registering page by entering the requested information and click Register. On the Create a New Cloud Account page, once again fill out the page with the information requested. The Cambium ID is a string that uniquely identifies your account. It can also be used to onboard devices. 
It is written to devices managed by CN Maestro. Once you set this Cambium ID, it can only be changed by contacting Cambium support. Make note of the Cambium ID. It will be required when you attach your Cloud Anchor account to your CN Maestro on-premises account. A friendly name is the name for this account. This could be your name or the name of your company. Select your country and the time zone your server will be located in. This next step is very important. You have the option of selecting either an NMS, which is your network management system, or an Anchor account. In this case, you must choose the Anchor account. This Anchor account will allow your on-premises CN Maestro server to connect to the CN Maestro cloud to simplify firmware upgrades, license management, and most device inventory related functions. The onboarding key allows CN Maestro on-premises instances to onboard into this account. Remember, you will add the Cambium ID and the onboarding key through the CN Maestro on-premises interface. Agree to the CN Maestro Terms of Service and click Create Account. Access your new Anchor account by logging into your Cambium account at cloud.cambiumnetworks.com and selecting your newly created account. Once you have opened the Anchor account, on the toolbar on the left side of the page, you will have access to the following features. The first is the Manage Instances page. The onboarding page shows the Cambium ID and allows you to change the onboarding key. The On-Prem Instances page shows the CN Maestro on-premises instances that have successfully onboarded. Also shown for each instance are the system time, subscription type and expiration, the system file type, active version, the current system status, the last connection time, onboarding time, and current system uptime. The notifications page shows notifications that are generated on all on-premises systems, including information on the severity of the notification, the system uplink, the notification name and generation time, the notification message, and a link for more detailed information. After devices are onboarded, they will show up on the inventory page. Information such as the device MAC address, serial number, the device type and tier, and the on-premise instance the device is assigned to is displayed in the table. Under Network Services, the CBRS page will have account management for your CBRS accounts, and the Organization page allows you to manage multiple CBRS accounts. It will display the account ID, you can add secondary accounts, and it will display history. The Administration Users page allows you to add users to this Anchor account and optionally log out users. The Settings page allows you to configure the time zone the server is located in. And the Audit Logs page is a log of administrator activity in the system. This log activity can be exported to a CSV or PDF file. And under Manage Subscriptions, the Subscriptions page shows a subscription usage summary. The page displays subscriptions for the different device tiers, the number of pending subscriptions, the number of available and used subscriptions, and the number of expiring and expired subscriptions. The table underneath lists the different available subscription tiers, the number of slots used, the status of the subscriptions, the start and end date of the subscriptions, how long the subscriptions are valid, and the EID to which the subscriptions were originally assigned. The Devices page has a pie chart with the different subscription tiers that have devices assigned to them. The table underneath 
list the devices to which subscriptions are assigned, including the device MAC address, serial number, type, device tier, the slot it's issued to, the subscription name and validity, and the subscription state. The On-Prem Instances page displays the CN Maestro on-premises instances which are connected to this Anchor account and are currently using subscriptions. It lists the tier category and the number of subscriptions per tier. Notice that the Anchor account can be used for CN Maestro X and CN Maestro Essentials systems. This next section will review the steps necessary to deploy a CN Maestro Essentials on-premises system. After importing the CN Maestro on-premises OVA file from the Cambium Network's support website into your virtual machine environment, Open a web browser and enter the IP address of the new virtual machine in the URL field. Then log into the system with the default credentials of admin and admin. The first time you log in, you will be required to give the system a name and select the country and time zone. and then you will need to create and confirm a new password. The next step is to log in using your new password. Now you must connect this on-premises instance to your Cloud Anchor account. You cannot proceed until this step is completed. So you will enter your Cambium ID and onboarding key that you previously configured when you created your Anchor account, and click Connect. OK, this CN Maestro on-premise instance has successfully connected to the Anchor account. And now what we can do is go to the Anchor account to verify the connection. To verify that the connection between the CN Maestro on-premises account and the Anchor account has successfully completed, navigate to the Cloud Anchor account and the Manage Instances On-Prem Instances page. You should see the new CN Maestro On-Premises account along with other information, such as the subscription type, CN Maestro Essentials or CN Maestro X, the expiration date, the file type, the system active version, the system status, the last connected date and time, how long ago the system was onboarded, and the system uptime. This next section will cover the steps necessary to activate subscriptions on the Cambium Support Licensing page. Before you can add subscriptions to your CN Maestro Anchor account, they must be activated in your Cambium Licensing page. To activate subscriptions on the Cambium licensing page, go to the Cambium support website at https colon slash slash support.cambiumnetworks.com. Then navigate to the licensing activate entitlements page. Insert the EID you received from Cambium in the entitlement activation window and click check. In the Entitlement ID window, verify the part number, description, and available quantity of subscriptions and click Activate. On the Select CN Maestro Account page, locate the CN Maestro Anchor account for the subscriptions and click Next. Now on the licensing page, Verify the number of slots available in the entitlement and click Activate. After a moment, in the CN Maestro Anchor account, the Manage Subscriptions page will update with the new count for subscriptions. This next section will cover the CN Maestro X on premises trial approval subscription. 
When you upgrade an existing CN Maestro on-premises instance to 3.2.0, you are granted a CN Maestro X trial period. This is a free 90-day trial of CN Maestro X on-premises 3.2.0. This trial period is primarily for customers who do not have enough slots to cover all their devices managed in CN Maestro X. In this scenario, the upgrade would normally fail due to an insufficient number of slots available. However, the 90 days provides a grace period so the deficit can be covered without interruptions to the system. At the end of 90 days, if the subscriptions or slots have not been applied, CN Maestro X will automatically downgrade to CN Maestro Essentials. This next section will review the steps necessary to upgrade your CN Maestro Essentials on-premises system to a CN Maestro X on-premises system. In your CN Maestro 3.2.0 on-premises system, go to Manage Subscriptions, Subscriptions, and then click the Upgrade to CN Maestro X button. The system will apply several steps during the upgrade process. When the upgrade completes, click Refresh Now. Notice in the top left-hand part of the screen, you'll see that CN Maestro has now been upgraded to CN Maestro X. On the Subscriptions page, you can verify that the subscriptions have been properly allocated. In the Usage Summary table, you will see the subscriptions broken out by device tier, pending, available, used, and expiring. The table underneath shows the subscriptions, device tier, slots used, status, start date, end date, validity length, commercial ID, and description. The Manage Subscriptions Devices page shows a pie chart with the device tiers and the number of subscriptions allocated to each tier. The table below displays the device name, MAC address, serial number, type, and tier for the devices with allocated subscriptions. After the upgrade, an automatic free 90-day trial is applied to the CN Maestro on-premises system. When the trial period completes, if you have available subscription slots, your account is removed from CN Maestro X trial status and upgraded to CN Maestro X. If you do not have sufficient slots for the devices in your account, CN Maestro X on-premises will be downgraded to CN Maestro Essentials on-premises. This section will review the step necessary to downgrade your CN Maestro X on-premises system to a CN Maestro Essentials on-premises system. If you do not want to run CN Maestro X, on the Manage Subscriptions Subscriptions page, there is an option to downgrade to CN Maestro Essentials. Click the Downgrade to Essentials button to initiate the downgrade process. OK, this concludes this video on what's new in CN Maestro 3.2.0 on-premises. Thank you for your time and have a great day.